Hello friends. This is fun time with Rhapsody. Yes, the Rhapsody of realities for early readers. Hi, my name is Mark. The topic of our devotional is, Do you know who you are? Our Bible text is from, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Who are you? If you are asked this question, you should always have an answer. There's something I say often, I know who I am. This isn't just a fancy statement but a declaration of my identity in Christ Jesus. You're special, made in the image and likeness of God. You're the child of the Most High God, and He lives in you through the Holy Spirit. There's absolutely nothing ordinary about you. You're the new creation. Hallelujah! Therefore, refuse to just let anything happen to you. Rather, take charge of your life through your words of faith as someone who truly knows who he is. It's confession time. I know who I am. I'm a child of the Most High God. A world overcomer, a victor, a success, and one blessed in every way. Hallelujah! Let's say it again. I know who I am. I'm a child of the Most High God. A world overcomer, a victor, a success, and one blessed in every way. Hallelujah! Please read the scripture reading for today. 1 Peter to verse 9 to 12. Thank you for listening. I love you all. Hello kids, it's me, Frono, your fun friend. I'm glad you could join me today. By the way, did you enjoy today's devotion? I'm sure you did. It was an instruction for us, as God's children to always say what we want to see in our lives or anything. And guess what? That is demonstrating our faith through God's word. One of the amazing fun fact about faith is saying what God says about you in his word. Come on, friends, let's declare faith as we sing along together. I've got faith, I'm not afraid. I've got a sound man, I have no fear. I've got faith, I'm not afraid. I've got a sound man, I have no fear.
Do you know there's so much you can learn from God's Word? Take a look at these fun facts about the Bible. The Bible is God's Word for us today. God told men what to write in the Bible. The Bible has two parts. The Old Testament and the New Testament. The Bible tells us the story of God's love. The Bible tells us how God showed His love by giving us His Son. The Bible has beautiful stories of men, women, and children who loved God. The Bible tells us about heaven, angels, and everything we need to know about life. Make sure you know your Bible because the Bible is the number one book in the world. Wow! The Bible has got a lot of interesting things. Did you know? The word Christian appears only three times in the Bible. Check your Bible. Acts 11.26 Acts 26.28 1 Peter 4.16 Did you know? Smiling boosts your immune system. It takes 5 to 53 muscles to smile. Smile relieves stress by releasing endorphins. Did you know? The longest verse in the Bible contains 90 words. Check your Bible. Esther 8-9 Did you know? A donkey spoke in the Bible. Check your Bible. Numbers 2228 ESV. If you are not born again, Say this prayer of salvation with me. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. Wow! Glory to God! To download copy of Rhapsody of Realities for the early readers and Rhapsody of Realities for kids, log on to www.sayyestokids.org. That's all we have for you today. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.